Hey guys, this is Brian over at OBD and I'm going to show you today how to use Tune Tracks Easy Player Pro in Cakewalk Sonar Producer 8. This is very easy to do, it only takes a few steps, so let's get started. I have a blank Sonar Producer 8 template opened up here and I need to go ahead and insert a new soft synth. I'm going to click on insert, go to soft synths, go down to VST plugins and I'm going to select Easy Player. This opens up the Insert Soft Synth Options window. A couple very important things I need to select here. First one is First Synth Audio Output. Second one is Enable MIDI Output. This makes sure that this MIDI channel is going to be able to send its MIDI output to the channel that I assign my drum synth to. So now I'm going to go ahead and leave Synth Property Page enabled because that will make it so that when I hit OK, the Easy Player Pro interface opens up. So now I've got Easy Player Pro opened up, and the next thing that I need to do is go into the Map Wrap section. I'm going to go into Map Wrap, I'm going to scroll down to Tune Track, and I'm going to select Superior 2. So now I've set up Easy Player Pro to talk directly to Superior Drummer 2. You'll notice that there's a lot of other uh, drum synths that I can choose from here. One of the cool things about Easy Player Pro is that it does talk to a lot of other drum synths by other developers and other plugins, um, so it's very versatile. But I am going to go ahead and just go ahead and stick with Superior Drummer 2 today. So now I've got Easy Player Pro all set up. I need to go ahead now and instantiate Superior Drummer. I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to go to Soft Sense, scroll down to VST Plugins again, and I'm going to select Superior Drummer. Now I've got the Insert Soft Synth Options box open again, and really the only thing that I need to click on here is Simple Instrument Track. I'll leave Synth Property page selected. I'll hit OK, and now this is going to open up the, e the Superior Drummer interface. I've got Superior Drummer open. Now there's one last important thing that I need to do. I need to go ahead and t in the Superior Drummer Track Inspector, I'm going to go ahead and expand it right here. And in the Input section, the MIDI Input section, you'll notice right now it says Omni. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to select Easy Player and then MIDI Omni. What this does is it makes it so that this MIDI channel will accept all of its MIDI input from the Easy Player MIDI output. So that makes sure that the two talk correctly. Now that I've done that, all I need to do is go ahead and open up Easy Player, find a groove that I like, hit play, and it's going to play into Superior Drummer. And that's it. I hope that this has been helpful to you guys. Uh, you can download the Cakewalk Sonar Producer 8 template that I just created here by following the link in the info for this video. Uh, if you have these same plugins at home, Easy Player and Superior Drummer, you'll be able to open up this template in Sonar and immediately just get to work using the same settings that I've just shown you here. Uh, as always, you can get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com, and you can also find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. Until next time, thanks for watching. Hey,